Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Network Days DAX function in Power BI. As you can see on my screen, the Network Days returns the whole work days, including the weekends and holidays. So this is the syntax. And if you want to see the parameter, you will see you know, we have to provide the start date, end date and weekends. In weekend, we have some options like one for Saturday, Sunday. We don't provide anything as input. It will take Saturday, Sunday by default. And there are other options for the weekends. In holidays, we can provide a list of holidays. So let's go to the DAX query view and I will show you how to use this function practically. So here we are. Let's write evaluate and here let's create some variables. So I will create a variable for start date, which will be date it requires year, month and day. So I will provide 2024, April and 01. So this is our start date. Similarly, I will copy this. I will say it as end date. And for the end date, I will say 10 April 2024. So we have our start date and end date and Let's return and here I will say network days. So network days can take up to four parameters out of which two are required. That is start date and end date. And the other two are uh, optional input parameters. That is weekend and holidays. If we don't provide anything in the weekend, it will take Saturday, Sunday as weekend. And if we don't provide anything in the holidays, so it will not include holidays. In the start date, let's add start date. For end date, I will add end date. And let's close the bracket. And let's see the result now. So if I run, it will throw the error because network days is a scalar function. What does scalar function mean? Scalar function means it will provide a single value as an output. And in the DAX query view, we can only see a table value as an output. For the workaround, what we can do is we can wrap this network day function with a curly braces. So this curly braces is nothing but a table constructor. So it will construct this single value as one row and one column. So it will provide this as a table value. So now if I uh, run this, see it is giving me eight. So between 1st April and 10 April, we have one weekend that is Saturday and Sunday. If I give one, it will take Saturday, Sunday. And if I provide two, it will take Sunday, Monday. Let's see me. It is giving me seven because it is not considering Saturday as holiday. It is considering Sunday and Monday. So as we have seen in the document, so here we can see, so one or omitted, it takes Saturday, Sunday. For two, it takes Sunday, Monday. Similarly, there are other options. Now let's add a holiday list. So I will add a variable for holiday and I will take 1st April and 2nd April as holidays. So these are the list of holidays. I will now provide the holidays variable. So if I run this now, it will give me the six work days. So this is how the network days function is calculated in Power BI. So I have tried a new way to teach DAX using DAX query view. I hope you found this uh, video useful and I'm going to continue uploading this sort of videos uh, so you can find these videos in my YouTube channel uh, in my Power BI DAX series. So till then, goodbye and thanks for watching the video.